today viewers this is 300 plus academy where all we do is exams tutoring ensuring that you ace your next exam it's about time we look at our sort analysis otherwise called uh, qualitative analysis for 2025 wire chemistry uh, practical so what are the samples for this year's uh, exam okay we are looking at the blend of two soluble salts one is organic the other one is inorganic but they are both soluble that is talking copper sulfate where we are to try to identify copper two ions and then uh sulfate ions and also the reducing sugar or monosaccharide and glucose so what are the probable question as you can see on your screen uh you are provided with a sample cn cn is a mixture of an inorganic and uh, organic compound carry out the following test on cn record your observation inferences in the space provided as straight away it says put all of cn into a test tube stir and add about 10 cm cube of the steel water test with lismos and divide uh, the into uh, four portions so because cn is a mixture of uh, glucose and copper sulfate both are soluble salts by the time we put in uh, a test tube add about 10 cm cube of distilled uh, water and we stir we're going to find out that both they are going to dissolve because they are soluble uh, in which case you record that as cm dissolves in water to give a clear pale a blue solution as you can see in the diagram on your screen and uh, when you test with a litmus paper you recall when you look at copper sulfate uh, this salt must have been formed from copper hydroxide which is not a strong alkali and uh, sulfuric acid H2SO4 so when you look at this, this is a strong acid and this is a weak base so Generally, when we test the resulting solution with a, a litmus paper, in this case, uh, a blue litmus paper, it is going to turn red because this is a strong acid versus a weak base to give us copper sulfate. So, CN plus H2O, CN dissolves in water to give a clear pale blue solution. That means CN is soluble in that regard. And when we test the solution, uh, with a blue litmus paper, it is going to turn red. So we say the solution is acidic. Moving on to the next question, it says, uh, okay, we should divide uh, the resulting solution into four portions. To the first portion, add sodium hydroxide in drops and then in excess. Of course, you know, whenever we use sodium hydroxide to test, we are trying to test for uh, the positive ions. That is the cations. In this case, uh, copper 2 ions. So CN plus sodium hydroxide in drops and then in excess, we're going to get a pale blue uh, gelatinous or jelly-like uh, precipitate. And by the time you add excess sodium hydroxide, you're going to have a case where the precipitate is not going to dissolve. Precipitate is insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide. At that point, you see copper 2 ions are uh, present. Then to the next question, it says, to the second portion, Add aqueous ammonia in drops and then in SS. Okay. CN plus uh, aqueous ammonia in drops or in SS. We're also going to have a pale blue uh, gelatinous precipitate. But in this case, on adding SS aqueous ammonia, we are going to have a case where the precipitate dissolves to give a deep blue solution. You can see that on your screen. That way, copper 2 ion is confirmed. For the third question moving on to the fourth question as you can see on your screen it says to the third portion add few drops of dilute hydrochloric acid followed by few drops of barium chloride of course when you see a situation where we are using barium chloride and then having to acidify solution that tells you we are trying to confirm for anions okay solution c plus dilute hcl uh, plus barium chloride that's going to give us a white precipitate and this precipitate is not going to dissolve even when we add SS uh, dilute ACL insoluble in SS ACL in that case SO42 minus is confirmed that sulfate ion is confirmed now to the next uh, question question five it says 
to the fourth portion, add two cm cube of Ferlin's solution, A and B, and warm gently. So you can see in uh, some of the reagents uh, we were told to provide, it says Ferlin solution A and B. So the fourth portion, add two cm cube of Ferlin solution, A and B, and warm gently. So when you talk of Ferlin solution, you know that that is to test for the presence of monosaccharides or reducing sugar. So you say CN plus Ferlin solution A and B plus it. What is going to be the observation? Brick red precipitate form. Uh, in that case, you say CN is a reducing sugar, is a single molecule sugar, which could be glucose, it could be fructose, it could be ribose, it could be galatose. And with that, we've come to the end of salt analysis or qualitative analysis for YEC 2025 chemistry practical for myself and the entire team. It's bye for now. <laughs>